Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Hunt Noobs, and before you guys start watching the um, the video for Submission Sunday, I just want to talk to you real quick. Uh, if you guys might or might not have noticed, I haven't posted a Submission Sunday video in about three weeks, and the reason for that is I just haven't really gotten any submissions. Uh, I, you know, this kind of happened last time when I, um, you know, partaked in this something similar to this back on my old channel and uh, you know it's just kind of drying out right now and I, and I don't know why because each video is getting right around you know four to five hundred views and uh, I, I've talked to uh, the people that uploaded and I said hey what's the subscriber base look like how, how well did you do and some people were 15 subscribers some people were up to 60 subscribers it's just based off of what people um, you know prefers entertainment you know some people's going to enjoy some uh some content more so than others so that's just the nature of the beast so just because you uploaded my channel don't think you're just magically going to get 150 200 subs because i have a five thousand subscribers it's just you know i i, I only thing i can do is upload it to my channel that's all i can do i cannot make people go subscribe to you so with that being said, guys, in the next day or so, I'm going to put out a video exactly how to upload to my channel and stipulations and stuff like that because I really haven't done it. I just talk about it on every video every so often. So I think it's going to be um, uh, I think it's going to be a, a good idea. It's going to got a lot of people out there inquire as has been acquiring some information from me and I'm like ah, it's like beating a dead horse I've talked about it before I've talked about it before and which is my fault because you know you guys are not at fault for answering the questions by all means ask the questions it's just I should have taken care of this already myself so with that being said guys if you do get a chance to go check out 24 uh, 7 Mr. Nice Guy he did a really great job on his commentary I do believe you will enjoy his content if you do Please feel free to go check out his channel. Link will be in the description. And if you do join his content and you do subscribe to him, please make sure to let him know that you came from my channel. Because after a few days or so, I usually contact these people back and just get a general idea of how many subscribers they picked up. Because I know, man, I, I like I like seeing, um, you know, people getting a little bit of exposure and whatnot in, in their their channel uh, growing uh, for you know or you know whatever happens I just I, the information is just what's neat for me I guess so if you do enjoy the content and you do subscribe please let them know that you came from my channel I do appreciate that so with that being said guys I'm gonna go ahead and play this video you guys take it easy until next time man it's your boy hunting dopes I'm out this batch and it's like 4 a.m. that's it goodbye <laughs> What's going on everybody? My name is Mr. Nice Guy and I am bringing you guys a classic commentary. Now in the background of this commentary, you guys are going to be watching two different Call of Duty Ghost gameplays on the Wii U. The first one here is some Wii Remote gameplay. I am not as good with the Wii Remote as I am with the Wii Analogs. So this gameplay is a little campish and I do apologize for that. Normally I do like to run around but with the Wii Remote I kind of wanted to get a Hilo Pilot just because I've never gotten a heal fight with the Wii Remote before, so I was playing a little bit uh, campy and uh, trying to be safe. But the next gameplay after this, I'm going to be running around with the Bulldogs. Yes, I know the Bulldogs. Some people say it's kind of cheap and overpowered, but honestly, I don't really find any guns in this game to be too overpowered. But um, I do also end up picking up a Hilo Pilot with the Bulldog also, and it's a fast place gameplay, so I do hope you enjoy First off, before I get into the actual commentary and what I wanted to talk about, I want to give a big thanks to Mr. Hunt Noobs for doing this whole Submission Sunday thing. It's really kind of you, and I really appreciate it, and I'm pretty sure everyone else who has uploaded to your channel appreciates it as well. So thanks a lot to that. And one other thing I want to say before I start this commentary is kind of a summary of my YouTube channel, because I'm going to be talking about um, my own little topic I want to talk about for this commentary that I came up with and I'm not really going to be talking about my channel so I want to give you a little bit of a summary of what I do on my channel I uploaded Call of Duty videos mostly zombies videos and an occasional commentary like the one I'm doing right now and occasional Call of Duty comedy video that you'll see me edit some funny clips together and stuff and also I do let's plays and that's pretty much it um, I kind of mostly do zombies and let's plays on my channel that's what I mostly do, and I, I, if you like zombies on the Wii U, I highly suggest you check it out. And my high, in case you're wondering, my highest round on zombies is 57 on Call of Duty Black Ops 2 on the map Town Solo, so that is my highest record. So what I actually wanted to talk about in this commentary was why I love Treyarch. 
Now, I know you guys might think I'm crazy, but I think I have some pretty good reasons. And of course, there's the obvious reasons, just because they made some of my favorite Call of Duty games, aka Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2, and they also created the Call of Duty Zombies game mode that I love so much, and is probably one of the only reasons why I still play Call of Duty to this day. And then... Uh, the reasons why I actually really do like Treyarch is just because of me having experience playing Call of Duty on the Wii and Wii U. Now, if you guys didn't know this, Treyarch is the only reason why Call of Duty even exists on the Wii and Wii U. Sure, there's Infinity War that makes the games, and Treyarch makes the games, and soon to be Sledgehammer, but Treyarch is always the one who ports the games over to the Nintendo consoles, so without them, Call of Duty wouldn't even exist on Nintendo consoles. And you might be arguing, well, you know, it's super easy to just copy the code and port it over, it's not even that hard, it's just some easy money they're making. Well, that is actually wrong and not true for making games for the Wii U. Because sure, when you port a game from Xbox 360 to PS3, it's just some easy way to make some money. But when you put it on the Wii U, you have to put in some tablet with a touch screen on it. So now they have to use two different screens and also all the controller varieties that are compatible with the Wii U and the motion control. So all of those things take up time, money, people, and effort, which take away from any profit that really Treyarch's making. And in the end, it's just kind of crazy that Treyarch can even make money off of bringing Call of Duty to the Wii U. Now, I know it's all thanks to Infinity Ward that Call of Duty even exists because they are the people who created Infinity Ward, but again, I am coming at a Nintendo-only perspective at this. And there's quite a lot of people in the Wii slash Wii U community that absolutely hate Treyarch because they never give us the DLC and I think that is absolutely crazy because honestly I say we should just be happy that we even get the game in the first place I mean do you really think that Treyarch bringing DLC to Call of Duty on the Wii U is going to get Treyarch any money at all they aren't just making these games for art they're making these games for to make profit so I really don't think bringing DLC to the Wii U would make them any money and actually probably make them lose money and we should just be really happy for even getting Call of Duty on the Wii U in the first place. So, hope you guys did enjoy my video. That's it, all I have to talk about. If you did, feel free to check out my other videos. My name is Mr. Nice Guy and I will talk to you later.